Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Now, when I started this YouTube channel, oh gosh, four or five years ago, kind of really lost track, it was surrounding the N54 335i. It can be problematic, but I wanted to start this channel to show you guys that one, it's easy to work on a BMW, and two, N54 issues that are out there are fixable. And with my help and doing the DIYs, I had to instill that in you guys so that way you feel confident on working on a BMW. More importantly, you can buy the 335i and not regret it, basically. So that's why I wanted to start this channel on many, many videos uh, to come you know, from that. Having that 335i on the channel for so long, so I wanted to get something else. I have a growing family, you know, two boys, another one on the way and stuff like that. So I wanted just additional space. I already have an SUV uh, for more so the family stuff, but I wanted to yet another car to go along with the channel and just to, you know, have fun with it and just kind of show you guys the same kind of, you know, DIYs and stuff like that on the new vehicle. Well, you know, I'm very happy that obviously if you've watched some of my other videos that I did not get rid of the 335i. Exactly true. Still have my 2008 BMW 335i, 156,000 miles, owned for seven and a half years. And I think I've driven about 70,000 miles on this car since buying it. Now I would have even more miles. I would easily hit 200,000 miles, but with working out of my house, I you know, haven't driven it really that much in the last three years. Obviously with having this as the forefront of the channel, the best decision was to keep this car, right? I've done so much maintenance to it and obviously all of that's here on the channel. You know, check out the playlist above, that way you guys can see the DIYs on this. But you know, this car still, still is my favorite. I extremely love the M5, don't get me wrong. Love it to death plenty of power the technology obviously from a 2016 to a 2008 it's a humongous difference and just the different power plant of the s63 tu um, you know versus obviously the n54 but the 335i will still always stay you know with me i don't plan to ever sell it at all uh, i plan on keeping the m5 for quite some time now i mean it's a great car 43,000 miles all the options i ever want on it something different because i've always never been into really silver but i like silver you know with the black 343 wheels and stuff like that but you know this car um as much as some people would ask you know oh you're gonna get rid of it never never get rid of this car to take it where it was to kind of where it is today as far as you know mods go and just overall how this car performs there's a lot of stuff done to it there really is um, i try to keep it more the sleeper kind of look right subtle stuff on the outside more so performance oriented than anything but but to a certain degree nothing crazy nothing over the top just something that anybody would really like to say the least so the 335 has been extremely good to me, of course. Um, the M5 is doing awesome as well, don't get me wrong. It's, it's, uh, it's doing great. Uh, getting really used to the power as itself, uh, you know, from that perspective. But, you know, two completely different power plants, right? I mean, this thing is a beast of an engine. Uh, and, you know, looking forward to the mods that come on this. So you'll have definitely a lot of mods, DIY, maintenance, things to look out for. You know, these cars have came down big time in price uh, if you even compare it to how they were brand new. So if you find a low mileage one, plenty of options, you know, it's well taken care of, you know, as far as mechanically and, you know, on the outside, it's a it's an awesome bargain. You know, it's, it's a fast, very fast sedan car. Still weighs a lot, but still, you can throw it around corners and it'll handle, you know, just fine. But when I was set out to buy a BMW, another one, I guess to say, I never even thought about getting rid of this, uh, just because I know how much it means to you guys uh, for the car. And you know, like I said, I enjoy driving it. it has treated me pretty well uh, for the most part, but if I had, you know, something come up, then I had something come up and you guys would see the video from that side. So all in all, I'm very pleased with both cars and you know, I'm happy to bring it here on the channel, right? It's one of the biggest things I wanted to do uh, here and you know, many more videos to come on both vehicles, right? So guys, keep a look out for that. You know, I thank you for a lot of the guys that have been sticking around since I really first started. I know there's a handful of you guys still out there that have been around since I had like 30 subscribers. You know, now coming close to 90,000, couldn't be even more pleased and I'm happy to bring you guys along 
for the ride. If you haven't seen more on the M5 as far as, you know, the additional specs and stuff like that, so check out the video up above. I already showed you the playlist for the N54. So if you have an N54 and you're looking, you know, for some DIYs there, 335i and E90 stuff, you can check out those mini playlists that I have here on the channel. Always happy to help uh, answer any and all questions for you guys. So you can reach out to me on Instagram. I'll put that, you know, that's down in the description box below or even on my Facebook page. So I keep tabs on, on all that stuff. You know, thanks again. And looking forward to some many good videos here to come. I appreciate every one of you. And we'll be talking here soon. Thanks guys and have a great weekend.